Hi, in this video we're going to show you another way to find the open network ports on your computer. So you might know that you could do it from a command prompt by you in the, uh, doing the netstat command. And this will kind of show you a hard to read list and then it's got to take its time and go through and check everything. And then, you know, gives you kind of a report like this, but like I said, it's not too easy to kind of see what's going on. So there's another program called Current Ports by Nearsoft. So we've been doing some uh, reviews of their software. They're free apps. They're kind of, you know, old school looking, but they seem to do a pretty good job at what they're meant to do here. So once you download the zip file and extract it, it's just an executable here. So you start it up and you run it. And right away it'll show you everything you got going on here. How many connections, how many ports, how many are selected. So and then you can sort it by name, of course. So, you know, got a lot of Chrome ports open here. Edge. SVC host, system, got team viewer going using these ports, some unknown ports, some VMware stuff going on here. And of course you could sort by uh, you know the state too, if it's listening or established, the host name, the IP address, local address, port number, process, ID, and so on. And then you have options up here to kill processes if there's something weird going on you could kill it from here and uh, if you do log changes it'll kind of keep an ongoing log so we'll let that run for a minute you could save items copy selected items copy the IP addresses if you want to show grid lines to make it easier to read do an HTML report if you want to change your columns if you don't need all these columns you could pick which ones you don't want and move them up and down change the font and so on then all kinds of options here for what kind of ports to display. So if you want to hide certain, you know, if you, if you don't want to see your IPv6 ports, you could hide that. Auto refresh. Every two seconds, you could change that. Display the port and the address. Filtering. Beep on new ports. Then you have some tools up here for save and refresh and filter and find and that kind of thing. So now that we have this log changes going, let's open this log file. So you can see what's been going on since we started the log. So it's kind of interesting if you want to check something real time. So once again, yeah, it's pretty simple to use and it does a good job and it, you know, it just kind of keeps updating itself here as it goes along. So if you need to keep an eye on something, then you could just kind of keep this open and watch it. So I'll put a link in the description and you could uh, download it yourself and try it out. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>